Breaking news, John mentioned a man shot and killed by police during a child sex sting operation in downtown Kannapolis. We broke this news first at four. Thanks for joining us here live at five. I'm Molly Grantham and I'm John Carter and new since then we have uncovered new details about what unfolded on Vance Street, not far from the Atrium Health ballpark and the Food Lion. Our Cam Gaskins was the first reporter live on the scene. So Cam, what have you learned? Yeah, so when we first arrived on scene about an hour or so ago, we were told by somebody that the SBI would be coming, but no more information was available. Well, in the in the just a couple of minutes since, within the last half hour, we have learned, like you guys said, this uh, shooting was a result of a sex sting operation, a joint operation between Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office and the Kannapolis Police Department. I'll step out of the way a little bit, let you guys see kind of the active scene that we are still seeing behind us. Uh, again, pretty active scene with both agencies on site. Now, what we've been told within the last half hour, is that around approximately 1.45 this afternoon, a 33-year-old man arrived at this blue house on the corner that you see, uh, meeting who he believed to be a 15-year-old girl for the purpose of having sex. Uh, when he arrived at the house, officers, uh, law enforcement officers, uh, responded and tried to arrest him. He resisted arrest. We are told uh, by law enforcement that he, uh, this suspect pulled a gun and was then shot and killed uh, by the responding officers, and he was pronounced deceased on the scene. So again, SBI is here conducting an investigation. The officers involved have been suspended as is proper protocol, uh, and the 33-year-old suspect who is deceased, uh, his identity has not yet been released as they're waiting to alert uh, his family. So again, all of this information uh, just coming in very recently within the last half hour, but that is what we know at this time. As they're still going through the investigation, we expect some more information to be made available throughout the evening, and we will be sure to update you both on air and online as the situation develops. But for right now, reporting live in Kannapolis, I'm Cam Gaskins, W. UBTV on your side. Cam, thank you. We know you'll keep us updated. Let us know if something new breaks. John.